Lila's Ratchet Advice Show. So, last week my phone rings. It's some crazy telemarketer trying to sell me one of those ratchet medic alert Uh-oh. buttons. I'm about to hang up when I find out it wasn't a telemarketer. It was that ESL dude. You know, the dude who drops so much crazy slang nobody understands what he's talking about. Next thing I know, I find out I just agreed to go out on another date with him and didn't even realize it. So a little later, a cab pulls up and ESL dude takes me to a tiny dimlit club in the Bronx called Nuances. We walk in and who's the first person? I see Big Baby. You know, the 350 pound dude with the tiny dick who refers to himself in the third person. One thing leads to another and Big Baby begs for one more shot with me and ESL dude sees it as a challenge. So I say, look, there's only one way to settle this. Welcome to Two Guys and a Girl, the Big Baby versus ESL dude showdown. Round one. What's your best line? Big Baby's up first. He says, girl, Big Baby's not drunk. Big Baby's just intoxicated by your presence. The challenger? ESL dude says, a bee's in the trap. Then gets up and leaves. Turns out what he really said was, yo, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back, but you know I want to smash it. Round one winner? ESL dude. I digs the honesty. Round two. Reveal your deepest secret. Big Baby says he's into cosplay. And the character he dresses up like most? Sailor Moon. The challenger? ESL dude says his secret is he's addicted to watching Duck Dynasty on TV. I'm thinking, not bad. I could live with it. Turns out what he really said was, I'm 30 years old and still live with my moms. Round two winner? Big Baby. Anything Trump's still living with your moms. At least I know moms ain't paying for Big Baby Sailor Moon outfit. No judgments. Round three, favorite hobby. Big Baby says, gazing into my girl's eyes. The challenger, ESL dude says, ain't nothing but a G thing baby. Turns out what he really said was, ain't nothing but a G thing baby. Round three winner, Big Baby. As corny as his line was, ain't nothing but a G thing definitely gets a 10 on the played out ratchet meter. So surprisingly, Big Baby wins. And even more surprisingly, ESL dude says, yo, I concede, drinks on me. I was like, cool. Turns out what he really was saying and what I agreed to was, come on, give me another shot. So next episode, the Big Baby ESL dude showdown continues. Before I go, I pick the most desperate letter of the week that yes, gets the St. Jude seal of desperation. It's from Not Kim 5000. Dear Lele, my boyfriend's a professional celebrity impersonator, and most of the time he brings his work home with him. So far, this hasn't been a problem, but last week he started impersonating Kanye West. Now, he's wearing a skirt, he keeps telling me Beyonce's better than I am, and he keeps throwing Illuminati signs at me while we smashing it. What should I do? Dear Not Kim 5000, I don't know what's more disturbing, what dude is doing in bed or that there's one more Yeezy running around. On the bright side, at least he's not impersonating Justin Bieber. He might be hitting you up with a stun gun in bed. My suggestion? Wait it out. If you have any luck, he'll be impersonating Common next. Alright, I'm out. Don't forget to put your questions in the comments or send them to Lele at ChilltownTV.com. See you in two weeks. We always drop on Tuesday. Peace.